Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Purdue's just where it wanted to be, ranked number one in the poll. It's something that they've not only hoped for, they've reached for, they've grabbed, and now that they have a hold of it, you just don't see a situation where this team is going to give this thing back. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the head. Sage Stadium is electrifying as these fans are going crazy for the start of this game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Back deep to return. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. hit immediately. They didn't have much of a chance on that point. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second and eight. Ball on their own 27. And now he's got room to run. He's to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds. At about the 41. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From their own 41-yard line. First down. Gets to about the 44-yard line. He picked up around three yards on the draw play. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback First seeing down. the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Never want to see a kid down on the field after a play. Not sure what happened, but hopefully it's nothing serious. First and 10, ball on the 45-yard line. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Wise gets six yards on the carry. That brings up second and five. Around the 35-yard line. The pass is complete for four yards, and that'll be a first down. Man, that's another first down on this drive. They've looked really good since they came out on the field. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. 
Here's the eighth play of the series. Looks middle, got his back. And he's taken down right around the 18-yard line. Number 97 on the tackle at the 18-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 18. Scrambling around. Inside the 10. Dives forward. Well, the offensive coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. The Wildcats quarterback down on the sideline after getting injured early. I think it looks like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we're going to see him back in the game before the day. Got his receiver. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Buckeyes key it up today, ranked 11th in the nation. And for Ohio State, they're creating quite a gap in this one. Northwestern to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. He's got the corner. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. Boilermakers have a player that's up for national awards. It's all speculation right now. You can talk about awards after you win them. He's got to worry about playing this football game. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They're packed in tight on the line. And he hits him hard at the 25. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And he took a shot on that play, Brad. It looks like his head might be still ringing a little bit. Let's go, let's go. Second down and seven. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here we go. Nice run there. Pearson picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it third and three. Catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Tackled after a decent pickup. Pearson comes away with five yards on the carry. That brings up second and five. From the 48-yard line, second down. Let's go, let's go. Check, check. Spire. Ready. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Incomplete. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And 
And this play is number eight on the drive. to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 20. That'll move the chains for another Purdue. First down. From the 20-yard line. First down. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. Northwestern's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. The 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Here they go. First and goal. Down by a touchdown. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That brings up second and goal. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. Here we got set. Touchdown, Purdue. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. Seems like ultimately they weren't quite sure what was coming at them, and they gave up the score. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Buckeyes arrive ranked number 11 in the country. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Ohio State, they can win their ninth game of the year today. Purdue to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 38. Throws into coverage, just picked off. At the 30, to the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Boilermakers. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. And he adds the extra point. Thornton has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. They just gave the defense a gift by handing them the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. Quick toss. Couldn't haul it in. This is incomplete. Ingram, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Feeds it to the back. Tackle at the 24-yard line. This guy's just an amazing playmaker. I'm sure we'll see him compete on Sunday afternoons. Let's go. Hey, 
You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Holly fields it at the 39, and down he goes at the 44. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's going to go for the home run. Picked off, it's the cornerback. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at it. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. It's first and ten. Ball on the eight-yard line. They go with a run, and they got him for a loss. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That makes it second and ten. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. Hey, alert 48. Hey, let's go back to 48 right now. Let's go. Yeah. Up the middle for a nice gain. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Looking for his man, incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Fields awaits the snap. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Davidson's play today, Herbie, is not what we expected. I don't know if he's had a bad week. I don't know if he's had a problem maybe with an injury that we don't know about, but he's not up to what we normally have seen from him. And what's shocking is they still have the lead as, as bad as he has played. Now, they are getting close to halftime, maybe a chance to talk to him and, and really reevaluate him to see where he is physically and mentally. But he's going to have to play much better in the second half if this team wants to be able to hold on to this lead. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. In the shotgun and five wide out. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. And the defense just picked up their second interception of the game. This defense had really been in sync during the first half. If they keep this up, it'll be a long day for this offense. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31. Throws a bullet. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he's hit immediately. Close to nine yard pickup there on the slam. That'll make it third and one. Oh, 
Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. And he's immediately tackled. That was actually pretty good defense, but a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. Northwestern's going to take their first time out of the half. his tight end and he's tackled at the 44 yard line the Wildcats call a timeout that's their second of the half that'll make it second and seven it's second and seven ball on the 44 yard line makes the catch and gets out of bounds that's a gain of 11 on the play that makes it first and 10 From the 30-yard line, it's second down. He's looking for six. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. That makes it third and seven. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 14-10, Purdue. Martin gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Once and all, going deep. He's taken down at the 14. Purdue's going to use their first time out of the half here. Now it's first and 10 with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Purdue is up by four. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. converts the extra point. A quick two-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Oh, 
We're about set to start things up again. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and nine. And that'll do it. We head to the break. Still plenty of time left in this one. Purdue's in front by 11. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This team accomplished one great thing in the first half. They did. They got all of their internet boards a buzzing. They got social media going crazy. They got the let's fire the coach mob out there after them one more time. But I tell you, if they put themselves in a hole and if they don't stop digging, it's going to it's going to end badly for this team. Well, we, we talk, Welcome yeah, back, so everybody. Second, second half ball. action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Makes it out to about the 33. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Wants to go long and does. And he's tackled right away. How easy does that make it for a receiver? Run your route, put out your hands, and there's the ball. That is scary accuracy in a big game. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime. They counter that five wide receiver set. It's away from him. Touchdown. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdowns. The touchdown saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. And they can forget about returning this one. The Boilermakers staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He heaves it deep. He goes up. Picked off. He's at the 30. Well, these guys lost a lot of talent to graduation last year, and they've got to put some new faces in there. And this guy looks like he's the real thing, and he can help in that area. Two times, two times. From the 28-yard line, first down. Fires quickly to the tight end. Brought down at the six-yard line. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Let's go, let's go. We've got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Ready. Mike. 
And he gets a yard on the run. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and goal. Down to go along with the one he scored earlier. When Heisman voters are trying to decide who will get their support, they're going to be thinking about performances like this one he's having here today. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a quick three play, 27 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Thornton looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Wildcats are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. They'll run it. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. the stop at about the 49. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. First and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Rifles this one out to the left. This one is incomplete. Remember, this is college football. All you need is one foot down to be able to make this catch. This time, the wide receiver is just too close to the boundary, not allowing himself to get either his left or right foot down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Ingram was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and 10. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Brought down to the 21 yard line. Return for the game of eight yards. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. You know, you might look at this and wonder if this is just a meaningless interception. But if you're the offensive coordinator, and especially the quarterback, I don't care how big the lead is. You never want to throw the football to your opponent. That's a mistake by the quarterback, and he'll hear about it from his quarterback coach and his offensive coordinator. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 31. Go, 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 go. 
He's at the 20. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he's taken down at the four. They come out in a goal line set. He's wrapped up for the sack. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. From the 12-yard line, it's third down. Let's go one more. Tackle at the eight. Jackson gains about four yards there. It's up, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 21. And for Davidson, it's been a rough night. Well, he's made some bad throws that he'd love to have back, but he just needs to forget about that and move on. They're still in this game. For Northwestern, their defense has been opportunistic and aggressive, and it's paid off. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he tackles him hard at the 24-yard line. Davenport on the tackle at the 24-yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Purdue's lead is 22. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Going deep. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. That makes it second and ten. Watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number three. They'll bring him down to the 37 yard line. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on their own 37. Oh, 
Davidson with the play fake. He chucks it downfield. And he's got it. Touchdown, Boilermakers. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. And he adds the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Buckeyes enter today's game ranked number 11. Now a chance to prove they deserve that ranking. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. The Hoosiers' rushing attack can be difficult to stop, and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. Purdue to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Purdue's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And as a group of 11, they play like they know they're going to stop you. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That's a gain of six on the play. Too easy, too easy. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. Brings him down at the 38-yard line. First down. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. Second down at 14. Ball on the 35. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's pushed out of bounds around the 43-yard line. That'll make it third and five. I got him, I got him. Just under three to go in regulation. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Pope brings him down at the 47 yard line. Fourth down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Here they come, and they get the sack. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding offense. A lot of teams will lose the intensity when the game's already been decided, but not these young men. Another good stop right there. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Pearson gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 41 yard line. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. He's at the 30. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. That's good enough for another Purdue. First down. From the 26-yard line. 
It's first down. A little over a minute in the game. Makes it up the middle for a nice run. Six yards there on the counter. That'll make it second and four. That's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down and allows them to continue to work this clock. From the 14-yard line, first down. Up the middle for a nice game. Make it 100 yards rushing for him. I'm so impressed with the way he runs, and I've got to say, he might be my favorite at this point for the Heisman Trophy. They line up in the jumbo set. 53, nice run, and he's brought down. Garrett picks up about four yards on the play. Here's the eighth play of the series. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. Purdue, 42. Northwestern, 13. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.